Hi there, my name is Richard Steele. I'm doing this tutorial on behalf of CNC Fusion. Today we're going to be dealing with converting the X and Y axes of an X2 Mini Mill. These being the Sieg, and the Grizzly, and the Harbour Freight, etc. And today we're going to be dealing with the conversion of those two axes. Okay. I hope you find this um, video, video useful. First of all, we're going to confirm that we have all the parts for the conversion of the Y and X axis for the X2. First of all, the Y axis components. Alright. Okay, we've got our Lovejoy spider connectors in there. Okay. Next, the X axis. We should have already checked these in the other tutorial anyway. Got our connectors there. Other parts. Alright. Okay. There's the tools that you're probably going to need to do this conversion. Okay, the way in which we're going to start with this um, conversion, we'll just move these parts out of the way. We're going to concentrate on this Y-axis part at the moment. So we bring that to the foreground. Using a 3mm Allen key, we're going to be um, unscrewing the Lovejoy connector. That will then pull away through the hole. We've then got to remove this um, threaded bar. Okay. What should we do while I'm doing that there? Just had to put the camera down why I've just unscrewed that. Right, okay, I've unscrewed that now. I did that with my hands. And this should pull out. Yeah, okay. That's now pulled out. Right here. Yeah. So we've got we've got that ready. Making sure not to lose any parts. Keep that all together. We're now going to concentrate on the handles on the X and the Y there. Obviously this is your X axis. This is your Y axis. As you can see we've already done the conversion on the Z axis in a previous tutorial. First of all I'm going to remove this little handle. You can see that's been pre-loosened. I've taken that away now and removed that. I've put that safely to one side. Next, I'm going to need to remove this handle on the Z axis. Now I'm going to pause the video while I do that. To accomplish the task of removing the handle on the Y axis, I've used a 14mm spanner. There'll be... Um, two little um, nuts. One's used as a locking nut for the first one. Okay. That whole unit then slides away. Um, make sure you don't lose your key, which is that block there in the shaft. 
Now that that's removed, um, using an Allen key, I'll just I'll just confirm what size this Allen key is. Using a five mil Allen key, we will uh, unscrew these bolts, taking care not to lose them. What we could use, we could use the the handle to store all the parts that we're removing on this particular part. Right, okay. All those parts are removed. Right. Now going to remove the two bolts at the opposite end of this axis, which can be seen there. We'll remove these in the same method as what we have just done. Correction, you're going to need a posi driver to unscrew this end, because this end is not Allen key. This is, the, this is the end where um, your NEMA 23 stepper motor and bracket are going to be going. The screws that we've just removed, we will not be using those or that plate as those um, come with the um, those come with the motor mount, so we will not require those. Just preparing this motor mount now. I've removed the tape from off the two uh, coverings. And um, also, I'm going to remove the four cap screws um, that hold the... will hold the NEMA 23 motor. These are 3mm Allen key again. I'm just going to pause this while I remove those. And then I'm going to put those safe and, and ready. Now I removed all those screws. Can't see why at this point that it's not possible to um, mount the step motor ready. Remembering before you actually screw this up to orientate the motor for the suitable direction for your wiring. Noting that those two screws are at the top because those are going to be where it's affixing on the side there. And I'm orientating mine so that the wiring the wiring is going to head towards the back of the machine. I suppose you could orientate this down but my preference has been to the back of the machine. Um, as that's where my controller board is going to be located. Right, okay. I'm now going to um, locate those screws and tighten them up using a 3mm Allen key. Instead of using the Allen key, I'm opting to use my screwdriver with um, a 3mm um, torque fitting there, or Allen key fitting. Um, because using the key in these tight angled corners can, can be really time consuming and obviously with this I can tighten those 